CNN Ukrainian officials continue to optimize that second line of Russian defense fortifications. On southern front may be easier than first. Because Kyiv's troops tried to cross a network of intense minefields. Recently, geographical video Ukrainian units made limited progress beyond village of Robotine because they have tried to expand the region in southeast Zaporizhia region, which they regained in August. Ukraine's army seems to be targeting its operations against the strategic Tokmak town just south of Robotine, a logistics center used by the Russian forces for supply and with fuel and ammunition warehouses. However, it is surrounded by complex Russian defenses, including mined fields anti-tank barriers and deep-set trenches in the surrounding area, and reveal acute difficulties for Ukrainian troops trying to recover the region. The Ukrainian forces raises the national flag in Robotine in Zaporizhia after capturing the village again on August 23, telegram Valery Zaluzhny while trying to violate second line of Russian defenses. Ukrainian units will benefit from fact that trench Shelter and overlap network is not as strong as in first line. Ole says Alexander Shupunguni. On Monday, however, Stupin admitted that the second line was quite strong. I don't know why everyone thinks weaker. The Ukrainian army said on Wednesday that it was a counter-attack by Russian forces near Robotine. General personnel. Units in combining the positions. Specified enemy goals to give artillery fire and contrast operations are successful in conducting operations, he said. However, both sides reported that intense artillery fire in the settlements in region are widespread. Both sides said that the village of Robotine was reduced to ruins. Yevgeny Belitsky, governor of Zaporizhia, who was appointed by the Russian said on Wednesday that village said, the village does not exist anymore. He acknowledged that the Russian army withdrew from the village. But he said it was a tactical movement to a higher place. We do not only check this settlement on the map as of today, he added. If we speak in terms of war operations, we will be pleased with our current position. Efforts against Ukraine have made limited profits so far and raised their eyebrows among the Western allies, who donated billions of dollars of military aid. On Wednesday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken came to Kiev, whose operation is expected to meet with senior officials, including Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky.